द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ डू आई ट्रेन द बोनिंग बॉक्स रिग्रेसर टू डू दिस कंसिडर द येलो बॉक्स हियर दिस इज युअर प्रपोजल फ्रॉम युअर रिजन प्रपोजल नेटवर्क लाइक सेलेक्टिव सर्च और रिच बॉक्सेस सो हियर फॉर दिस बॉक्स यू नो द विथ यू नो द हाइट एंड यू ऑल्सो नोट द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस बॉक्स एंड दिस रेड बॉक्स ओवर हियर इज युअर ग्राउंड ट्रूथ दैट इज वॉट यू आर एक्चुअली एक्सपेक्टिंग सो इट इज ड्यूटी और जॉब ऑफ द बोर्डिंग बॉक्स रिग्रेसर टू रिफाइन द येलो बॉक्स हियर एंड टू मॉडिफाई द डायमेंशन सो दैट यू गेट द रेड बॉक्स एंड नॉट ओनली द डायमेंशन नॉट ओनली द हाइट एंड विथ इट ऑल्सो नीड्स टू टेल यू वॉट इज द करेक्ट लोकेशन ऑफ दिस बॉक्स दैट इज इट हैज टू गिव द करेक्ट मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द रेड बॉक्स अनलाइक द प्रीवियस अकेशन इन द अदर नेटवर्क्स where i was doing the bounding box regression for the entire image by passing the end feature map of the entire image all at once here when i do the bounding box regression i only calculate the deltas that is my bounding box regressor will tell me okay if this yellow box is your region proposal then you just need to increase the height a bit and reduce the width by a small margin and then move the center of this box few pixels in the x direction and a few pixels in the y direction this is the job of my bounding box regressor here unlike the previous occasions where it just predicts four different values in this case in this occasion it just needs to fine tune the already existing region proposal already existing bounding box so ultimately what this bounding box regressor has to output here in this case is dw that is the small change in width dh small change in height and dx small change in the midpoint of the box in the x direction and the dy will be small change in the midpoint of the box in the y direction so if it gives me these four values from the existing bounding box proposal from the yellow box i can calculate the dimension and location of the red box the actual box here okay that is a job or that is how i have to change the design of the bounding box regressor now how will i train it to do the training it's uh, very simple what we are using for bounding box regressor is l2 loss okay to do the l2 loss you just take the square of the differences between any two values let's say if you have 4 and 10 you just do 4 minus 10 whole square you will get some value and this is your l2 loss similarly here you already have the uh, x y w and h from your selective search or edge boxes and uh, here initially your bounding box regressor will output some random values of dx dy dw and dh and these are the values that you are expecting xg yg wg and hg the ground truth boxes and to calculate the loss now what you do is you just add x plus dx and uh, subtract with the ground truth value here and just square it you will get uh, some value here this value you back propagate through the bounding box regressor once you do it your bounding box regressor in the next iteration will output some other values of d, uh, dx dy dw and dh okay then next you do the same operation okay i forgot to mention uh, just like you did it for x you have to do it for y w and h okay so in the next iteration you again calculate these values you go on doing this repeating this step until the loss will be zero or very close to zero then you can consider your bounding box to have been trained now with this when you are doing the actual inference or testing it will just uh, output some values of dx dy dw dh you just add these values to x y w and h respectively and whatever value you get will be the dimension and location of your new uh, of the correct bounding box refined bounding box so this is about how you will train the bounding box regressor and how you will uh, how the regressor will predict the dimensions of the object during inference or testing